Every day, we are still seeing changes in response to the Black Lives Matter protests that exploded all over the U.S. a month ago. Police departments are being scrutinized and even changed. Companies are looking at their lack of diversity, and racist statues are falling harder than Mike Pence boarding a plane. And in Rhode Island, they're taking steps to make their official state name a lot less problematic. Rhode Island's official name could soon exclude a portion with ties to slavery. The official name of Rhode Island is Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. The state's governor signed an executive order to remove Providence Plantations from citations, state websites, and state employee pay stubs. We can't ignore the image conjured by the word plantations. We can't ignore how painful that is for Black Rhode Islanders to see that and have to see that as part of their state's name. All right, America's just weird because I didn't even know that Rhode Island's official full name was Rhode Island and Providence Plantations. Do all the states have problematic full names that we've just never heard about? Like, is it actually the Republic of California and Japanese internment camps? Or Alaska, too new for slavery, but kind of wish we had a shot at it. Is Maine's full name Gucci Maine? So clearly there's a lot of progress still to be made. And one of the encouraging things we've seen is how many white people are now asking the question, what change can I make in myself to move things forward? You know, white people are asking what books to read, what films to watch, how to be a better ally. And all of this is great, but unfortunately, the person that most white people are asking is usually their one black friend which is exhausting. Because remember, if you're a white person with one black friend, they're also the one black friend of 10 other white people. It's a lot of stress to put on them. And black people who are in this position, I know how it feels. And I think we found the solution for you. Are you tired of your white friends interrupting your busy day with questions about race relations? Well, now there's an easier way to help educate them by giving them the gift of Black Lexa from Amazon. Black Lexa, I'm confused. What's wrong with saying all lives matter? Saying this erases the history of black oppression in this country and sets back the goal of equality. Oh, that makes sense. Black Lexa is programmed to absorb all the emotional labor of helping your well-meaning but painfully white pals. Hey, Black Lexa, I want to go to a protest, but I don't know how to chant. No problem. Let's practice. After I say no justice, you say no peace. No justice. No bees. I'm sorry. Is it? What is it? I'm sorry. Uh... Black Lexa can even recommend good books and movies for your friends and keep them from watching bad ones. Hey, Black Lexa, put on Green Book. Why does that always happen? Best of all, your white friends will actually learn something. Hey, Black Lexa, isn't it problematic that you work for free given the history of slavery in America and the continued systemic racism that has left the Black community at a disadvantage for generations? Oh, look at you. You're finally getting it. Thanks, my homegirl. Don't, don't do that. I'm sorry. Black Lexa from Amazon, helping your white friends so you don't have to. Stop that. What is wrong with you? I need a new job. <laughs>